And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Lufangosaurus, which was a request from Dinosaur4602 via YouTube, so thanks. It was a massospondylid that lived in the Jurassic and what is now China at Shawan near Lufeng in Yunnan province, and the name means Lufeng lizard. Bien Manian, a geologist, found the fossils in the late 1930s, and then paleontologist Yang Zhangjian, also known as Si Si Young, also known as the father of Chinese vertebrate paleontology, helped him in 1938. And Yang named Lufangosaurus Huanai in 1941. And the genera name obviously refers to Lufeng, and the species name is in honor of Yang's old tutor, Frederick von Huen. Yang's description, though, was hindered because this was during World War II, and he didn't have access to all the papers, and he wasn't able to fully compare this dinosaur with related dinosaurs. He ended up naming a second species between 1940 and 1941 and described it in 1947 as Lufengosaurus magnus, which means the large one. (laughs) And some have considered Lufengosaurus magnus to be a junior synonym of Lufengosaurus huenai. Generally, though, it's considered to have two valid species, Lufengosaurus huenai and Lufengosaurus magnus. Yang also named Gyposaurus sinensis in 1940, but then in 1976, Peter Galton suggested it was identical to Lafengosaurus. So the type species Gyposaurus capensis was already considered by many to be a synonym of Massospondylus. But then in 2004, Galton and Upchurch suggested that Gyposaurus sinensis was its own species. Michael Cooper suggested in 1981 that Lufengosaurus and Unanosaurus were species of massospondyls, but in 2005, Paul Barrett and others analyzed the skull of Lufengosaurus, who and I, and found that it was its own genus. Zhao Shijing named another species of Lufengosaurus, Lufengosaurus changduensis, based on fossils found in Tibet, but it's not described in its uh, nomum nudum. There's also Tawasaurus, which is a synonym of Lufengosaurus. About 30 specimens of Lufengosaurus have been found, and Lufengosaurus magnus was up to one-third longer than Lufengosaurus huenai. It was a small early sauropodomorph, about 20 feet or 6 meters long, although Gregory Paul estimated Lufengosaurus magnus to be 30 feet or 9 meters long and weigh 1.9 short tons. It had a long neck and short forelimbs, and it was probably bipedal. It also had sharp claws and a large thumb claw, and its claws could have been used for defense or for getting food from trees. The skull is about 10 inches or 25 centimeters long, and it had a deep, broad snout with bony bumps behind large nostrils and on the cheeks. It had a bony ridge on its upper jaw, and it probably had large cheeks, and it had closely spaced serrated teeth. It was probably herbivorous, though it may have been omnivorous. And a lot of eggshells and Lufungosaurus embryos were found in a bone bed in Yunnan in 2013. The bone bed was probably a collection of nests destroyed by flooding. There were about 200 bones found. In December of 2015, two Lufungosaurus skeletons, one of each species, was found while workers in China were building a road, and there may be a museum built over the site to preserve the fossils in the future. Lufungosaurus grew rapidly, and it may have done that to kind of outgrow potential predators, and it lived at the same time and place as Dilophosaurus. Lufungosaurus was the first complete dinosaur skeleton mounted in China in 1958, and there was a commemorative postage stamp also made. You can see Lufengosaurus in the Paleozoological Museum of China. There's also a Lufengosaurus in the Hong Kong Science Museum that Sabrina and I got to see, which is really cool. Oh, yeah. And I think it's notable for being the only real dinosaur fossil, at least Lufengosaurus, that has been loaned to a museum outside of mainland China. 